Okay, today we are going to learn about biological processes, organization levels of life, grade 7. So, let's learn. Now, a wall's bricks are its building cement. So, we need many bricks to make a wall. Just like a human cell is its building unit. Okay? And the building unit of a plant is called a plant cell. So, whatever plant we see, like whatever plants are made out of cells, and they are called plant cells. A building unit of an animal is called an animal cell. Humans fall under animal cells. This is a picture of a human cell, I mean animal cell, and a plant cell. Here are some cells we have here. The microscopic view of cells in lower appearance of a leaf. The microscopic view of a stained human cheek cells. Here are some of the other cells. You can see amoeba, ilia, perseum. Okay. Just like our skeleton is covered by our muscles and our muscles are covered by our skin, let's see the layers of our skin. Cells first, then after that we have tissues, then organs, then systems, then organism. Here, cell can be divided into two parts, the functional unit of a cell, the structural unit of a cell. So cells are the first layer, now let's learn the second layer. Tissues. Now in our stomach organ, we have the blood tissues. You, as you can see the blood tissues right here, they are like small circles. They're red, of course. There are nerve tissues. Right here, they are nerve tissues. Then they have muscle tissues. Okay, can, now tissues can be divided into two parts. Collection of cells of same shape or different shapes. Perform one common function. Plant tissues. Tissues which tra transport water. Now these tissues, they transport water. That's the stem of the plant right there. This is called pith, where the stem of the plant is. Like, have you seen when you break a stem, there will be tiny dots? That's what it is. Tissue which transports food. It transports food. You know that the plants transport foods and everything. These are human body tissues. Then they have the connective tissue, nervous tissue, skeletal muscle, cardiac muscle, and no. Okay. So now we are going to learn about the organ. In the list, when we showed you about tissues, you did, did you see stomach was also organ written? Sorry. Organ. A collection of different tissues work together to perform a specific function or functions is called an organ. Human stomach is an organ and it's made up of different types of tissues. Now the human stomach is made up of different types of tissues. Oh, oh yeah, wait, that's from the different one. Okay. These are some these are some organs you can see like kidneys, lungs, small and large intestines, bladder, etc. System. A system is a group of organs to form that a group of organs form a system. We can see where we're going, right? Just like the some systems are mouth, large intestines, small intestines, all of those together makes a system. Okay? Did you understand? System system can be divided into two parts. It can consist of many organs to perform a com common function for many functions. Okay? Like not divided into two parts. It has two benefits. You want, all the other systems have two benefits. When all systems combine, it forms an organism. This organism. See, we have the digestive system, excellent system, muscular system, blood circulatory system, respiratory system, nervous system, reproductive system in a human body. And that makes an organism. Hope you understood.